Hi everyone. Um, Zuzu wanted to sit next to me today for some reason. <laughs> Thank you, Zuz. Um, <clears throat> yeah, today I'd like to talk a little bit about the gift of deepening and our experience of surface and depth in life. So I'd like to read <clears throat> a passage from Things That Join the Sea and the Sky, um, and it's on page 31, called The Gift of Deepening. The deepest place on earth is not a physical place, but the stillness we enter at the bottom of our pain, at the bottom of our fear and worry. The stillness we enter there opens us to a spacious state of being that some call joy. When we put down our dreams and maps of memory, precious as they are, we can feel the very pulse of life. Then all we could ask for is softly between us, when too tired to deny that there's nowhere else to go. These moments of unfiltered depth are very brief. We may only experience a handful of such openings in a lifetime, but like the strong chorus of stars that watch over us, we can navigate our way through the dark by following them. I'm thinking of the time we met in our grief after losing my father and your mother. We found ourselves sitting on the edge of our sorrow like a cliff we couldn't leave or jump from. I'm thinking of the time we felt complete for no reason after falling in the grass with our dog and the light softened all we were carrying. It is these visitations to the deepest place on earth that make life bearable, that draw who we are more fully into the world, that help us grow softer and stronger at the same time. No one can will these moments to open. No one can find them in the same place twice, and no one can live without them. You know, it's a very interesting thing, a great teacher for me about surface and depth is the ocean. So if we look at the ocean and we look at the waves, all the individual waves, well, you know, we will call them waves from the top, but if you look down, they're all connected to the deep. You can't tell where one wave stops and the deep begins. And if we look at that, you know, the top six to eight inches of any surface of water are always disturbed by weather. And I would offer that that's like our psychology. That's the part of us that meets the world every day, meets the weather of the world every day. But if we go below those six or eight inches now, now we are into the depth of being, and that's the ocean of our spirit. And of course, it's all one water. But if we keep getting drawn to only living in those top six, eight inches, well, we're just going to be battered about on the choppy sea. And that's another reason why we have to deepen and have the gift of deepening hold us as we meet the world, because we have to live in both at once, the surface and the deep. Isn't that right, Zuzu? <laughs> okay, well, I hope you're well today. I hope you keep growing in place, and we'll see you soon.